Yo, hola, hello, welcome, mi amigos, the compadres, my friends, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. I am the big guy Ryback. Welcome to the big guy versus food. This is the, what I'd like to call the healthy edition for the week for the people like, well, we're on the road. What do we eat? Today, I was on the road. And uh, before I go to a big monster back workout in cardio and conditioning, and I didn't have time to eat earlier, and so I decided to go to Firehouse Subs today. And Firehouse Subs, I usually will do, uh, if I'm going to eat that, I, I will usually get a turkey or a double turkey on, on wheat. I've been doing a lot more white bread, white rice and stuff because it's easily digested. I went with the wheat today because well, you don't eat enough wheat for the people that love their damn gluten. You have nothing to bitch about today. Nothing at all. Go to another channel and whine you pansies. But today, my friends, I give you the steak and cheese. Go ahead. Stick your nose up to that phone. Smell it. Go ahead. If you don't smell it, you're just not smelling hard enough, guys. Oh, come on, I'll give you some time. There you there you go. Okay. Smell it? The, um, my old trusty coffee. Ah. I'm doing the steak and cheese, guys. I stepped outside my comfort zone, and I um, decided I'm going to go ahead and I want to dive into this today. I'm starving. I'm always hungry. I had a bag of baked chips inside. And I did not get anything to drink because I have my finish it branch chain amino acids with uh, one scoop of my 10 count creatine. Blech! Oh, look at this. One of the uh, true, true, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? True uh, treats of coming to Firehouse Subs is they give you a pickle in a bag. Look at that. Wasn't the pickle I was expecting? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Here it is. Oop. Go ahead and get that out of the way first. Mm. I can't really, I know somebody said to get a food tray for my truck, but guys, I'm just going to shoot you straight on this one. You know, the people that like leave the comments like my man, man, Ryback, back. My boy fell hard. I remember watching him in WWE. Now he eating food out of his truck. My man struggling. Guys, those kind of comments from the stupid feed me morons. I really would kind of feel like a loser if I had a food tray in my truck. I'm not gonna lie. No matter what. Like, I just think that, that I would rather just get off and shake off outside, get out and shake off. If I was driving around with a food tray, and like I got pulled over, and like the cop's like, what's that? I'm like, oh, that's my food tray, officer. Like, geez, what a loser. Go ahead, buddy, you're having a rough time. Get out of here. Maybe not a bad thing for getting a ticket. I don't know. I don't think they would even give me a ticket if I had that, and I think they would feel bad. I don't know. But anyways, guys. So I apologize. No food tray. I am uh, ready to go, though. I trained with Nick Best. That's going to be on Feed Me More Fitness, Rebuilding Ryback next week. He's from the strongest men in history. He is a freak. And we had a killer workout. I haven't deadlifted heavy or even tried. He fixed my form right away. I pulled 530 easily. And I haven't even touched, I haven't even touched over 315 in years. Not years, I take that back because I have tested myself a couple times, and I, which I posted, I believe. But it's been um, not a lot, so, and it was easy. And then we did a lot of rack pulls at like 690 pounds. My form broke down on one of them, he fixed it, pulled it for five easily. I'm going to be able to do some pretty ridiculous weights once again. No pain in my back. So just a little update on you guys and everything. I'm like, here's an update on how you're doing. 
I didn't get extra steak on this, guys. I just want the steak, the provolone. I did get olives and jalapenos added. And uh, I got to take another bite. Onions. Guys, Firehouse subs might be my favorite subs. I know right now, 17 people just lost their shit. And they're pissed off that I just said that. Guys, we're in Chicago Bears hat. Sorry, bud. The, uh that I said I like Firehouse subs, it might be my favorite. People are pissed. There's some people really angry right now. You can go fuck yourselves. That's what I think, okay? Okay, see you later. But everyone else, this is it's my opinion. I, I love Firehouse subs. They make a good, good sub. I like to use these videos too, to address some past comments in other videos. Because some real, some people saying that the the Baconator burgers from Wendy's. I had people telling me they were doubles. They weren't triples. I ate them. All four of them were triples. I showed them on camera. So, you guys can go fuck yourselves too. Then people bitching that there were lettuce and tomatoes. I got condiments on the burgers, guys. You can tell them to add things to the burgers if I was going to eat four on a cheat meal I wanted to enjoy them the challenge was to eat four triple baconators and guys when you put more calories on the burger with condiments even though it's, it's minuscule but there's still more calories it actually makes it harder because you're consuming more calories in the one sitting okay thank you he wasn't baconators so good I love you guys though I like your guys' comments when I have time I have a thing where I have a system I can go and just go down really quickly I'm really good at that I also could find the assholes and then hide them from the channel or block them usually just hide them because that's quicker let them think they're being a part of something, but they really, I can't see them. <laughs> it's a great thing. It says hide user from channel. I call it hide loser from channel, personally. Mm. Oh, we got some people buying me. Good thing I got the tinted windows on my truck. I'm looking at a van that says Cox on it right now. COX, it's our cable company here in Vegas. Strange name. I'm sitting outside of Blaze Pizza also. I've never had it. Is it any good? Leave it in the comments. Maybe I need to do a cheat thing there. I always see a bunch of kids going in there, so I just assume it's like a marijuana lover's hangout. I'm not really in tune with anything going on though in the world. I live in a bubble. Just doing a food review for YouTube, man. He's piping hot today. Asshole, I told him to put ice cubes in it. I like to get two. You got to be specific. I know with Starbucks too. I refuse to use the word venti. I say large. Me, caveman. Me, Neanderthal. Me, order with terms I understand. Large coffee, black. 
little bit of ice. But then I found ordering with a little bit of ice, I would sometimes get ice cold coffee. So I figured it was a lesson for me in life. Can't take no chances, guys. You got to be very specific with what you want. You got to tell people exactly what you want. So now I go, I go in like a large black coffee with two ice cubes. Two fucking ice cubes. And I get my piping hot coffee still, but it's cooled down enough where I can take sips of it and not burn my mouth. There's a lot of activity around me today. I'm very uncomfortable. I feel very just in, in the danger zone. There's a dump truck in front of me, a recycling truck. I got Cox right in front of me. Got the people in the van next to me, I think doing a food review also. Stuff's really taken off on YouTube. All of us are, everyone do it, just join in. Just eat food and talk. I got my new mango candy, Wake Up Unlimited Energies out. It's my favorite flavor yet. Please check that out, guys. On my podcast, next week I got a uh, Disco Inferno, Glenn Gilberti. Please take a listen to that. Really came down to the studio and uh, recorded. We got Johnny Scoville on this week who we did the food challenge with. Which somebody, by the way... Somebody, by the way, I see all the good comments. I love you guys. I love, I try to like all the comments. The, um, somebody said they were really disappointed. They saw me on Johnny Scoville's channel, which we ate four peppers total, one on the podcast and then three on the challenge, like a mild, a medium and a hot Carolina Reaper, which it was my first time eating fresh peppers. And as I've said, I do these food little spice challenges. I'm building myself up. Even though that tuba tear I did fairly early was by far, because I didn't eat, rocked me. The guy was really disappointed though in my performance on the peppers. Even though I had a paper towel that was against the peppers that I'd put in my eyes. So my eyes were on fire the whole time, but apparently it wasn't good enough for him. So for that guy, I can't see your stuff because I'm pretty sure I blocked you or hid you from the channel. But I wish you the best. Can't please everybody. I really don't give a shit. If I got one of these steak subs around me, I'm happy. Got jalapenos on it too. Yesterday was such a good workout. Anything you do in life. I got a poster at home I always see in front of the pisser. Every time I take a piss, I read it. Life begets life. Energy creates energy. The more you spend yourself, the more you get. I tell, tell myself that whenever I can remember. And I always just take it as the harder you work, the richer you get. Not just financially, just overall in any aspect of whatever it is you apply yourself to. Sorry about the bears again. Maybe 15, 20 years. I don't even know what the bears are. Someone, they could be, I know they're not undefeated, but they're defeated most likely. I don't, I'm not caught up on football, so they may be playing fairly well this season, but historically they don't. I loved Mike Ditka growing up. The Bears. This woman in the van next to me is really creeping me out, guys. Uh, all right. Done. I just get food on my... No, I'm good. Let me go ahead and... Trying to tidy up a little, guys. God, he's not gonna shut up. He's gonna talk now. 
Nah, no, we're not going to waste your time too much, guys. I've said what I needed to say today. We're in this for, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So we drop little, little nuggets here and there. I feel like we did that today. That firehouse sub, though, guys, was uh, what I would, again, not ideal. I would prefer I've just had my 75-gram iso-hungry protein shake and some white rice with a little bit of low-fat uh, ranch and hot sauce. But uh, sometimes I do two bags of rice, depending on my carbon take for the day. But this, I believe this sub is close to 1,400 calories. Uh, I got a, it might be a little bit less than that. But uh, it fits in, again, I need about 4,500 calories a day. So you can do the math on that. That's clearly not 4,500 calories. I had my meal in the morning. And uh, I know a lot of people, too, like want to document, you know, a day in the life of eating. Because that takes having somebody videotape you throughout the day. I don't like human beings enough to want to have a human being around me all day. And that's just me being honest. And I love people, but I don't, you know, come on. But I'll try. I'll try. Eventually, we'll do something like that. And uh, I'm going to be doing a video on fasting and explaining some of the health benefits and <clears throat> giving you guys some more information on that. I might do a live tonight on that. We'll see. Maybe maybe tomorrow. Got to gotta see. We got a lot going on with Feed Me More Nutrition right now. That keeps me very busy. So... But guys, that firehouse sub was a steak and cheese provolone. I had um, the uh, jalapenos and olives on it as well. It was uh, as well as uh, onions. I got no mustard on it. I didn't want to. I don't like mustard on on every. I like mustard, but not all the time. And um, it was very good. That was a healthy meal, kind of something eating. And I say that in the context of there's a lot worse you could eat than that. That wasn't as healthy of, of, I usually would get a turkey, get the fat a little lower, the fat was a little higher on that. But again, I take the total calories for the day and I plug it in and I'm able to keep my calories very consistent, which at the end of the day, guys, no matter what diet you're following, the calories in versus calorie out thing is the one proven method. And you'll have people that will tell you, you know, well, this and that. And at the end of the day, it comes down to calories in versus calorie out, calories out, whatever diet, allows you to consistently do that and, and, and stay on track as much as possible is maybe the diet that works for you. So whether that's keto, whether that's using carbohydrates, again, we know drinking lots of sugar that has side effects outside of <coughs> consuming a lot of sugar outside of just calorie intake. <coughs> All choked up here talking about nutrition facts. But there's a lot of information out there, guys. A lot of people selling things. I'm not selling you a diet or anything that goes along with a certain diet. So everything works when the calories are kept in check. Know your basal metabolic rate. Know how much calories you need with activity. When you diet, don't fucking cut your calories so much because you're going to slow your metabolism down. It's the one mistake we all make, and I've made it before. And it's very easy to make. But when you cut down your calories under your basal metabolic rate too low, you'll lose water weight and you'll lose fat for a little bit and it's gonna, you're gonna hit a wall and then it just slows down completely and your efforts are wasted. So you need to make sure you're consuming enough calories, following a good health, healthy, healthy diet and, and working out and trying to stay active. And guys, keep that metabolism fired up. That's it for me, guys. My shirt today is we work, we feed, we work. I just fed myself, now I gotta go work. Firehouse subs, that sub was amazing. I'm giving it two thumbs up. I'm giving it five stars. It was absolutely delicious. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback and I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button and check out my all natural, su my all -natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement, stupid, my all natural supplement line, Feed Me More Nutrition, available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available.
never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.